back in Manhattan, stall for me, I'll be back in six hours tops. <laughs> Challenge accepted. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 episodes of How I Met Your Mother. We will, in fact, see each other again. Sorry, bro. For this list, we're taking a look at the funniest. I am vomit free since 93. Vomit free since 93. <laughs> That's funny. I'm funny. Most touching. Your father. He had a heart attack. He didn't make it. And most quotable episodes of this wonderful sitcom. What? Here? Yeah. Got a little time to kill. Oh my god. It's the t-shirt, isn't it? No. Number 10. The best burger in New York. This feels so good. I'm worried I'm gonna get this burger pregnant. New York has no shortage of world-class burgers, but Marshall manages to find the creme de la creme on one of his first trips through the city. Unfortunately, he forgets where the joint is located, and now all other burgers taste inferior. Guys, when you've had the best burger in New York City, every other burger tastes like my grandpa's feet. Determined to see what all the fuss is about, the gang sets out on an epic quest across the city. We're going downtown. No, <laughs> With Regis Philbin even tagging along, in one of the show's funniest cameos. Of course I remember the place. It was the best burger I ever had. I still have dreams about this burger. Beautiful, haunting dreams. The journey is full of false leads, apparent dead ends, and the story of how Marshall got a job with Goliath National Bank. I got a job. What, where? Goliath National Bank. But that only makes it more satisfying when Marshall is finally reunited with his beloved burger. This is it. Yes! <gasps> It's exactly the same. It's the best burger in New York. <laughs> Number nine, the final page. Barney's getting engaged. While season eight of How I Met Your Mother is mostly dragged out and uneventful, this hour-long episode is comprised of laughs, heart, and revelations. <laughs> the reign of terror is back! <laughs> the final page sees Ted unveil the GNB building. To Ted. To Ted. Although he still can't impress his old architecture professor. This is hideous. <laughs> the episode's real highlight, however, is Robin realizing her true feelings for Barney upon learning he's proposing to her nemesis, Patrice. Nobody asked for your help, Patrice! That proposal is merely a ruse so Barney can declare his love for Robin, though, amounting to one of the show's most romantic moments and best twist endings. Robin Scherbatsky, will you marry me? Number eight. Spoiler alert. Kathy talks a lot. As tight as a group of friends might be, every person has a quirk that gets on everyone's nerves. And just like that, the illusion was shattered. Wow. She just never shuts up, does she? Whether it's chewing loudly. Oh my god, Lily, what are you eating? Gravel? Oh, I know, right? It sounds like cufflinks going up a vacuum cleaner. Overdosing on catchphrases. Oh, see? You can't think of anything, because I'm awesome! Or constantly correcting others. Mm, technically, water is a drink. Really, Professor? You drink it? Is that how water works? Because I was just going to smear it on my skin and hope I absorbed it. You might not notice these habits at first. Once your eyes are opened, however, that person may be spoiled forever. Oh, he doesn't see it. If we point it out, we're going to ruin her for him. Ted and his gang share such an unbreakable friendship that they ultimately overlook each other's annoying idiosyncrasies in the wake of Marshall officially becoming a lawyer. Lawsuit up! <laughs> the same sadly cannot be said about Ted's latest girl, Kathy, and her deaf fiancé. Do you guys like popovers? Because I love popovers. They're like croissants, but they're a little bit less flaky, and they're kind of round. Hey, they have strawberry jam! <laughs> Number seven, How Your Mother Met Me. Kids, the night your Aunt Lily and Uncle Marshall got engaged, the night I met Aunt Robin, was the night of your mom's 21st birthday. After eight years of buildup, the show finally introduced us to the mother. I was beginning to think you'd forgotten about me. Audiences instantly fell in love with Kristen Milioti's lovable performance, but this episode fully fleshes her character out. I have not been sitting around, I have been hard at work. I think I'm about to enter my robots doing track and field events, period. It's a very exciting time. The story follows the mother over the course of nine years as she deals with romance, death, and life. 
The episode incorporates numerous How I Met Your Mother callbacks that range from hilarious to moving, as Ted and the mother almost cross paths frequently. This is my thing? It most certainly is your thing! Now please cover your thing up! If you didn't believe these two were destined for each other already, the mother's rendition of La Vie en Rose will convince you. Hold me close and hold me fast This magic spell you cast This is La Vie en Rose Number 6. The Naked Man This is my move. It's called The Naked Man. How I Met Your Mother offered us plenty of insightful romance advice over the years, although it is yet to be confirmed if The Naked Man actually works two out of three times. This doesn't really work. Two out of three times. Guaranteed. If you're looking for a doomed first date to turn into a one-night stand, though, the odds just might be in your favor. It's shock and awe. Just bear in mind that getting thrown out on the street nude is a possibility. Hello? Hi, is, uh, is Barney there? No. Oh my god, what's the matter with you? Get out! Barney learns that the hard way in this episode's hysterical conclusion, but he's still unwilling to compromise his fashion principles, meaning he'd rather go streaking than wear a cheap suit. Oh, thank god. <laughs> Number 5. Showdown My father is Bob Barker. In addition to the mother's identity, the identity of Barney's father proved to be one of the show's greatest mysteries for several seasons. While the rest of the gang preps for Marshall and Lily's impending nuptials, I'm a fairy princess! I'm too skinny for my dress! This episode plays up Barney's daddy issues as he appears on The Price is Right, and prepares to meet his alleged biological father, Bob Barker. Mom, who's my dad? All the other kids at school know who their dad is. Who's mine? Oh, I don't know. That guy. This setup, of course, makes leeway for inspired humor. Oh, oh, I didn't realize that's what it was. Can you do them again? Yeah, go. Oh! But it also digs deeper into Barney as a character. Whether Bob Barker is truly his father or Barney is in severe denial, the episode makes you want to give him a big hug. Well, it's just... If you've lived your whole life thinking one thing, it would be pretty devastating to find out that wasn't true. I just don't think Bob could have handled it. Number 4. Pilot Good, and as your best friend, I suggest we play a little game I like to call Have You Met Ted? No, 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 we're not playing Have You Met Ted. How I Met Your Mother is all about strong buildup and unexpected payoff. Wow, that is one badass blue French horn. Yeah, mm -hmm. sort of looks like a Smurf penis. Its pitch-perfect pilot takes us by surprise several times, as Ted falls for a striking woman. And there she was. It's like a great romantic comedy condensed to 30 minutes. I think I'm in love with you. What? 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 Then just when the audience thinks they have the show figured out, the woman in question is revealed to be Aunt Robin. Because that, kids, is the true story of how I met your Aunt Robin. Aunt Robin? While the road to the mother would be a long, long story, this first episode hooked us in with its enjoyable characters, unique premise, and fun twists. Okay, meet me at the bar in 15 minutes and suit up! Number 3. The Pineapple Incident Drink! Drink! drink this is a drink, super brain! Drink! 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 drink, drink. drink. <laughs> this brain is unstoppable! <laughs> this brain! And that's all I remember. This classic episode was the most watched one of the series until the finale. And it finds Ted waking up after a night of drinking with an unknown woman in his bed, his ankle sprained, and, most peculiarly of all, a pineapple on his nightstand. Damn it, Trudy, what about the pineapple? Sorry. The mysteries just keep piling on as Barney is discovered in the bathtub. Hello. Why are you sleeping in our tub? Uh, the porcelain keeps the suit from wrinkling. The episode has one terrific payoff after another as Ted attempts to piece together the previous evening through the recollections of others. Trudy. My name is Trudy. <laughs> in the end, everything has an explanation except for that delicious pineapple's origins. If you really want to know, however, a deleted scene from season 9 reveals all. What's with the pineapple? Oh, it's an old sea captain's tradition to put a pineapple on your porch as a symbol of hospitality. 
I keep one here and one outside my townhouse in the city. Number two, the playbook. The playbook contains every scam, con, hustle, hoodwink, gambit, flim flam, stratagem, and bamboozle I've ever used or ever hoped to use to pick up chicks and give them the business. Barney Stinson is one of the most uproarious sitcom characters ever. Part of what makes him so funny is that he's so unpredictable and enigmatic much like a magician. Really? A genie comes out of it? Only if you rub it hard enough. We rarely know when he's being sincere and when he's playing somebody. I am so sorry. I guess this breakup's been tougher on me than I thought. Barney keeps us on our toes more than ever in this episode, where he introduces us to The Playbook, a book full of plans to get women into bed. To perform the Lorenzo von Matterhorn, here's what you'll need. Basic knowledge of website design and a very unique fake name. While every play amounts to splendid comedy. Not one of these is a cheap trick. Except for the cheap trick. The scuba diver just might be Barney's best scam yet. With an outcome so brilliant and well constructed that we won't spoil it here. And it is on. Before we suit up for our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. A couple nights earlier, your Uncle Marshall had offhandedly mentioned a website called GradeMyTeacher.net. It's this awesome site where students can go say what they really think about their professors. Hey, you're probably on there. Mine says Ted, no heart. Mine says Swarly. How <laughs> think it's Swarly from Barney? It's not even a name. Who would ever be called Swarly? Oh, please don't start calling me Swarly. I know what you're thinking, what's Barney been drinking? That girl was smoking hot. Yes, I could have nailed her, but no, it's not a failure, cause there's one thing she is not. To score a 10 would be just fine, but I'd rather be dressed to the nines. It's a truth you can't refute. Nothing suits me like a suit. Get this stuff off of me. Ted, I'll pay you double for your finest suit. Here's... Uh, 30 bucks. <laughs> Throw in the shoes. Ted, I seriously only have two minutes. I know. That's like 120 seconds. 380 West 22nd, please. And step on it. We're in a hurry. 380 West 22nd. Uh-huh. Right this way. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You know, I have always wanted to try this place. Have salad. Let me illustrate. A girl is allowed to be crazy as long as she is equally hot. <laughs> Thus, if she's this crazy, she has to be this hot. If she's this crazy, she has to be this hot. <laughs> you want a girl to be above this line, also known as the Vicky Mendoza diagonal. Number one, slap bet. The ultimate wager, slap bet. Oh, slap bet, we used to do those when I was a kid. The finest half hour of How I Met Your Mother introduces several unforgettable storylines that would turn into running gags, such as the slap bet. Okay, I'm gonna give you a choice. Either 10 slaps right now in a row, or five slaps that can be doled out at any point from here to eternity. Ooh. The defining moment, though, has got to be the revelation that Robin Scherbatsky was once a Canadian teen pop sensation named Robin Sparkles. I was a teenage pop star in Canada. <laughs> While Robin Sparkles would appear again in several other episodes like P.S. I Love You. No, you're beautiful on your pedestal. I see you, you don't see me. Nothing can top her initial hit of Let's Go to the Mall. This is one of those episodes we can watch over and over again without ever tiring of it. Oh. That's one. Do you agree with our list? You are so beautiful. What's your favorite episode of How I Met Your Mother? It's a little warm. Hope that's not a problem. Uh, no, not For more legend, wait for it, Dairy Top 10s published every day. Be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. The point of the story is that... Is that you totally, totally, totally have the hots for Aunt Robin. No, I don't. Yes, you do. You're grounded.